We're out of a war. War is the health of the state, and we're fighting statist insiders. And the globalists have stolen over $27 trillion in the last few years from the U.S. alone. And they're going to keep doing it because they can always blow stuff up and blame it on, the, on, on their opposition. And, and that's how it works. And uh, you got a lot of dumbed-down control freaks that like their black uniforms, doctor. Well, do you know the interesting thing is right now, of course, the people of Iran are very unhappy with their government. There's a tremendous amount of unrest. But if we were to attack Iran, which I think is what is planned, then that's what this whole idea of time to strike Iran, this lead article in Foreign Affairs is all about, and what uh, Dennis Ross and the other trilateralists are talking about. But if we were to attack Iran, it would unite the Iranian people behind the mullahs. Not only that, but I fear it would unite uh, the two branches, the major branches, the three major branches, the Muslim faith, the, uh, the Sufi, the Sunni, and the Shia, against the common enemy. Maybe the uh, Shias and the Sunnis don't like one another. But if we were to get to, to attack Iran, I think we would unite the entire Muslim world, which incidentally, we are uniting. We're behind all of these uh, re revolts going on over there. We, the, uh, These countries, one after another, are falling under the control of the Muslim Brotherhood. Who is the Muslim Brotherhood? Why it was organized by American and British intelligence agencies in 1928. We have a book called The Devil's Game. It goes into the background of how it was the British MI6 that organized the Muslim Brotherhood back in 1928. And the sure, the whole thing. Stay there. we got to go to break, Dr. Monteith. Stay with us. This is key information. Straight ahead. Hello, I'm Alex Jones. My sir. I know I got loaded phones, and I'll get to your calls right when we start the next hour and then into all this news I haven't gotten to. Let the, dro the robot drive the autonomous car. That's Wired Magazine. An autonomous car is now driving in 14 states. Pretty soon, you're not going to be allowed to drive your car. They're going to say statistically robots are safer. They're actually already talking about that. I knew they'd do that, and they're doing that. <laughs> this is the prison they build. Because after all, a terrorist could use a car to run over somebody. So the robots are taking over. Uh, some good news. Senate passes bill allowing airports to evict TSA scanners. Y y y airports could kick them out to begin with. But whatever. Uh, we've got a bunch of other news on that front. Now, actually, we were able to find the document Dr. Monteith's talking about that I guess he might have been sent beforehand. This is actually on the Council on Foreign Relations' own website, CFR.org. I can show people watching on PrisonPlanet.tv a document cam shot of this uh, screen over here. Recent events in Iran and the progress of its nuclear program. And again, I've got it right there on the TV screen for folks if they want to see that. And it's got the speakers, uh, including Stanton Nuclear Security Fellow, Council on Foreign Relations, uh, that um, and, and the former you know, head guy at the uh, Department of Defense, under SecDef, uh, breaking it down. And yeah, here they are publicly. What about Gary Hart writing that letter uh, to Ahmadinejad saying, our government will stage a Gulf of Tonkin or Maine. Don't think we won't attack you. A public letter. What about all these Obama advisors like Robert Shapiro in the Financial Times of London saying, without well, an Oklahoma City or 9-11, to blame on Obama's opposition, he's not going to win re-election. And then internal memos that have gone public where they're like, sir, we need one. It's like that famous audio that got leaked of the six former generals that were all the uh, pundits on news shows. And an aide recorded it where they're like, they're like, Secretary Rumsfeld, we need a new 9-11. They will not listen. He's like, I know, but it's hard. Why do they even release that? I mean, Dr. Monteith, they come within one inch over and over again these days, from just admitting they're doing it. They act like we're children. Clapper, the head of national security, he's in the in, in white paper saying we need a provocation with Iran. I mean, they act like we, we're not reading what they're saying. It's like all the books are in the library, but nobody reads. 
You're absolutely right. And the thing is that they have total disdain for us common people because they don't think we're smart enough or, or really care enough. I mean, they keep us entertained. We have the Super Bowl. We have Madonna dancing there at the at the, at the Super Bowl, uh, a vulgar display, you know. And certainly, if this is our, I mean, I love football, but certainly, I, I object to the to the. the of uh, uh, the the vileness of so many of the much of the what watching a disgusting globalist uh, in a uh, in a luciferian outfit prance around it was pathetic but, but to see the the, the thing is, is Alex, as you recognize the spiritual component of this, and I do as well, the average individual doesn't. They look upon this as Democrat, Republican, right, left, conservative, liberal. They look upon this thing from a geopolitical point of view without understanding that there are spiritual forces behind the scenes. If you read what Matthew Kronig says in this publication that you're displaying there on the screen, why it doesn't make sense. I mean, here is an intelligent, articulate individual who's talking about, you know, well, we know that after there's attack, there's going to be retaliation. We'll be prepared to uh, absorb the retaliation. Then we'll try to certainly quiet things down afterwards. What makes him think for one minute that, that the human... That's because they're going to blow stuff up if Iran doesn't, guaranteed, because the real target is us, the American people. That's why they're going to stage this. Dr. Monteith, we'll have to talk to you again as this unfolds. God bless you, my friend. Hour number three, straight ahead. Stay with us. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to your calls right now in the next segment, and then I'm going to News Blast. I can't wait too long and then not get to all this so i'll take calls cover news then take calls peak oil scare fades a shale deep water wells gush crude bloomberg washington post trustee says mf global sustained itself on customer funds R ruth bader ginsburg on egyptian tv i would not look to the u.s constitution to craft a modern law document yeah they want this democratization where the elites can fund the general mass to rob somebody what a criminal i remember her talking about get rid of the constitution follow u.n law that says you have no rights in Article 30. That's just some of what's coming up. And, of course, our big alert, they are getting ready to stage terror attacks. We know who stages them. I'll get more into that coming up. This is a terror alert. We are warning. This is a real terror alert with specifics and who we're saying will stage it. Okay? James in Florida, thanks for holding. Hey, Alex. Hey, Perfect buddy. Proof of psychological conditioning in, against United States citizens. I went to Gasparilla here in Tampa, thousands of people at this event to support Ron Paul with signs, et cetera. And the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office got brand new uh, uniforms, which looked exactly like combat uniforms, with the exception of they were not wearing the helmets, they did not have M16s, and instead of camo, it was all um, green. I mean, it was it was crazy. They were lining the uh, sidewalks behind us, and they just looked like savages, mercenaries, ready to gun us down. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I mean, they've done this with children psychologically. You dress them up in an outfit, they act like it. You dress somebody up in a gorilla outfit, they act like a gorilla. In a hunting outfit, they act like a hunter. And they found, put them in black, put masks on them, put them in military outfits. A military fights an enemy. So they train them to be a military. They admit they've been militarized. They're very proud of it now. You know, 15 years ago, they deny it. And they train for war with us. And they work for the foreign banks. And they've done a superb job. The country is collapsing. Their future is gone. Great job. And they want a civil war with the American people. The bankers are probably going to blow a bunch of stuff up and sick them on a bunch of people to come grab their kids. The public will be forced to fight back. And uh, all their little uniforms, I guess, are supposed to intimidate us. It doesn't do that, but... Does the opposite, but three million guns sold in December, <clears throat> record. So, and were they bugging their eyes out eating stuff? Because you know, a Ron Paul event, you certainly can't. You, know, you, you got to watch those folks. Absolutely, and honestly, people need to study history. They need to see. I mean, this is the Politburo. This, but is I mean, twenty years ago, in every science fiction movie about a dystopic nightmare, the police dress like they do now. I mean, even in cartoons, we know what third world police states look like this is it and they're trying That's to convince right. themselves hey we're going to grope you we're going to arrest you and disappear you we're going to torture you we're the good guys no you're the bad guys sorry go ahead 
That's all right. Uh, have you seen this new movie that's coming out? That's um, the the actors in it are actual Navy SEALs. I mean, it's pure. You know. Uh, yeah, they got propaganda. SEAL Team Six. It's all just mindless worship. So a bunch of people go sign up in the military to be injected with cancer viruses and given uh, amnesics after combat and uses guinea pigs before the final rollout of the robot armies. Yeah, it's, it's all it's big recruiting really tools to get young people to join so they can be used up and believe that America's the good guys when America's run by a bunch of murderous criminal banks. The only way to the only way to get America back is to admit that. Exactly. We all need to um, rise up with ideas, just like Ron Paul says. Well done, my friend. God bless you. All right, we're going to come back and um, go to Shane, Josh, James, Jr. We'll get to all of you. Jr. before James. 800-259-9231 uh, is the number to join us. I'll take the calls that are on the board right now. Then I'm going to get back into the news and back into your calls. Look at these headlines. Video. Former general says Russia will not allow Israel U.S. attack on Iran and Syria. Shouting cameras bark orders at residents to leave their own property. It's all coming up today. Look, I'm going to explain this again. The government doesn't exist. It's been taken over by offshore banks. America has been hijacked. Open world government is being announced that you're going to pay carbon taxes to VAT. A global cashless society is being set up, and they're going to totally outlaw any type of underground economy. Canning preserves, selling them, selling pecans. That's why Forbes says, why is there a war on gardens and lemonade stands? All over the country, under Agenda 21, the zoning is standardized. And that was admitted yesterday in the New York Times. But they said, you're a kook if you don't like the U.N. setting your agenda. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I remember her making comments like this in USA Today. I remember one time four of the nine made comments like this in one week. The nine, the nine ring wraiths. Justice Ginsburg on Egyptian TV. I would not look to the U.S. Constitution to craft modern law document. Yeah, don't look to that. That's that 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 guarantees certain rights. We like, she said, democracy is what you need. If fifty one percent say kill the other forty nine, do it. Because they can then just put in electronic voting machines or get the general public to do what they want and, and bring in real tyranny. I mean, pure democracy is so dangerous. I want to get into that. Big report in Bloomberg on peak oil. Uh, there's obviously uh, our biggest story uh, of the day is that I'm issuing an emergency terror alert. And my terror alerts, many of them have unfortunately unfolded. I've said, look for a terror attack in the next month. They're really hyping it. Boom, Times Square. Look for a terror attack. Boom, 9-11. Look for them to hit the World Trade Center. I know what I'm talking about. And I've got this report up at InfoWars.com right now. InfoWars issues emergency terror alert. Please get it out to everyone you know. And we break down the evidence that the military-industrial complex owned by the big mega banks is really gearing up to crack down on the American people ahead of an Iran war. And they're saying anybody that imagines the UN's taking over, anybody that thinks big banks are taking over, it actually says this in the Mayak report. Anybody that likes Ron Paul, anybody that thinks the government's too big, they're a terrorist. Hey, did you pay for cash for the coffee? Call the cops. It actually says, go ahead and call FBI. But then when I've tried to call and report, uh, yeah, I've got Operation Northwoods, a plan to stage 9-11. Uh, I've got Gulf of Tonkin staged. And uh, now these White House advisors are calling for New Oklahoma City. I want to report the names of the FBI 